Hello everybody, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. I appreciate all the support, views and subscribers that I can get. This is the first video in a very short series that will go through how to do a bank reconciliation on QuickBooks Online. Now there are a couple of things that you should be aware of before continuing with this video. The first is if you don't know what a bank reconciliation is, I suggest you watch my video about bank reconciliations first because this short series of videos will make a lot more sense if you actually know what a bank reconciliation is. So what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below that will link to my explanation of a bank reconciliation. Now the second thing you should know before continuing with this short series is how to use QuickBooks Online. You should know the basics. Of, I'm not going to cover the basics of QuickBooks Online in this series, but I will be covering the basics of bank reconciliations. But you need to know how to input sales, input expenses, and know your way around QuickBooks Online before attempting the bank reconciliation. If you're new to QuickBooks Online, just go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Under Accounting Software Courses, go to free QuickBooks Online Training, and there are a number of videos on this page that will teach you the basics of QuickBooks Online for free. And here we have a QuickBooks Online Tutorial Basic Training Course. Just go through those videos. It will teach you all the basics of QuickBooks Online. And then over here, once this series is complete, there will be links here for the bank reconciliation. And soon there will be a VAT return course also for QuickBooks Online. Now, if you know the basics of QuickBooks Online, and if you know what a bank reconciliation is, then let's continue with this video. I'm going to cover two months of bank reconciliations. What I have is the QuickBooks software in front of me. I've just signed up for a free trial for 31 days, and I have some dummy sort of fake bank statements that I've created with Excel. So we have a bank statement here with transactions and opening and closing balance. So it mimics a real bank statement. And then we have a bank statement for April. So one for March and one for April. And what we'll do is we will reconcile the bank account on QuickBooks Online as per the bank statements I've just shown you. Now, the way to access the bank reconciliation feature or screen on QuickBooks Online, just go up to the corner here. There's a cog. If you click on that and go to reconcile under tools. Now, if QuickBooks has changed its layout since creating this video, which they do now and then, then you'll find the reconcile button somewhere else. It will likely be under this cog somewhere. The cog might be somewhere else on the screen, but it'll likely be under the cog or maybe this plus button. But you're looking for that reconcile button. Let's click on that reconcile, reconcile an account. Choose the bank account you wish to reconcile or any account that you wish to reconcile. Most people will be reconciling the current account, the business bank account. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. HSBC current account. This is all fake data that I've entered onto this free trial. None of it's real. Beginning balance is zero. So the ending balance, this is when we need our bank statement. So we have a beginning balance of zero. So 1st of March, zero. And we're looking to close our reconciliation to agree with the statement at 31st of March, which is 160. Now I've put these as pounds. They could be dollars or euros. It doesn't really matter uh, what the currency is. But that's 160. So ending balance will be 160. And the ending date, once again, as per the bank statement, 31st of March. So let's go to the 31st of March. Click on that. And then all we do is click start reconciling. There are some other features here, but as I'm going through the basics of a bank reconciliation on QuickBooks Online, we don't need to worry about these things um, at this point. So start reconciling. Let's click on that. You're then taken to the main reconciliation screen. There's a lot going on here. 
don't get too confused about what's going on. It's not as confusing as it may seem. The most important part of this screen is the list of transactions down here. So these are the transactions that we need to tick, that we need to allocate on our bank reconciliation, or they might be transactions we need to edit. If you need to edit any of these transactions, you just click on the transaction, you can click edit and uh, edit the transaction. So there's a difference of 160 at the moment. We want this to be zero and we want all the transactions that appear on the bank statement to also be on this screen and allocated on this screen. If you need to edit the info at any point, let's say you put the wrong date in or the wrong closing balance, all you need to do is click edit info and you can change the info up here. So let's say you put the wrong ending balance in by mistake, you can change that or change the date. You can also save for later. So if we click that, we can go and do something else. And then all we need to do is come back to the reconcile screen. So this screen here and click resume reconciling and it will take you back to the reconciliation screen. So very straightforward. You'll get used to it the more you do it. So let's just go through it again. If I'm on the invoicing screen, all I need to do is go to reconcile, resume reconciling, and I'll be taken to this screen here. So that's the basics of accessing the reconciliation screen. In the next video, I'll start reconciling this first statement, this March statement, and I'll show you how to close the reconciliation off and then start the next reconciliation, which will be my sheet two for April. I'll speak to you in the next video.